so for for finite a finite definite integral we use two different rules for numerical integration one is the trapezoidal rule and another is the simpson's one third rule so this is the technique used to find the value of a definite integral where a and b are the lower and upper upper limits of the function fx now in this method the area of the curve is approximated by a trapezoid and this is how so fx is the given function and a and b are the lower and upper bounds of the integral and fa and fb are the two endpoints of the integral so the approximate formula is given by this so we are going to cal calculate the following integrals in python one is x dx where the integral value is 2 and one is this so one is this x dx and one is this sin x a 0 a 0 to pi dx so in both cases the integral value is 2 so we are going to compute this in python using the trapezoidal rule and the simpson one third rule so the integral formula for simpson's rule is given by this quantity where h is the spacing between two data points and n is the total number of data points okay so let's get started In this first example we are going to integrate fx equals x in the limit 0 to 2 using uh, the trapezoidal rule so let's define so here a is 0 b is 2 So the number of intervals n let's make it thousand now let's define the spacing between the two points Now let's define our x. So, so the start point is A, the end point is B, and the number of points is N. And your y equals x. Now let's initialize f is the integral. So as you can see that the value of integral is 2. So now we can do similarly for sin x. So now let's 
now let's use a trapezoidal rule for a function y equals so now let's run it as you can see in this case also the value is close to 2 okay so now let's use python's inbuilt command to do this integral So for this integral we are going to use SCPI module. So let's first do the integral using y equals x. So as you can see using this traps command we can also do the trapezoidal integral. Now let's do the Simpsons integral. So as you can see it gives the correct value of 2. So you can use the simple techniques to perform numerical integration in Python. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.